Welcome to the Empire's Vampire, and welcome back to my Cumin Confederacy campaign for the Medieval Kingdoms 1212 mod for the Teletotal Wall, where we're going to continue that from last time. Right now, we've been able to force quite a few new people to be my vassals, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, and we're going to continue trying to focus on that a bit more today, as I want to try and have it so that we're going to continue trying to subjugate Kiev, and then I did want to try and subjugate also the Teutonic Order as well. But I am a little concerned due to the fact that right now, at least my war readiness is insanely high, because after I do that, I want to start trying to retake territory that I lost. And with this being as high as it is right now, that is so bad. The minus six morale, reduced pro replenishment rate, reduced public order, growth rate. I, I need to get this down. So let me try and see if I can try and convince you guys to give me a peace treaty. No, it's not going to go through. How about you guys? Because at the moment right now, you guys are fucking massive. And I'm going to have to... Yeah, no, I can't get with you guys either. You are at war with a lot of people, so maybe eventually I will be able to convince you guys to. So I just need to try and see if I can get you guys to eventually give me a piece. Um, but other than that, right now, we're still slowly just trying to build up my territories around down here. As basically, I'm going to be demolishing the stuff in this city. We'll give it over to uh, you guys next turn. Um, and then I will keep making my way up to start trying to go up towards Riga to try and take you guys out. Yeah, so that will give me some time to kind of recover more of my men around here. And then basically, we'll just keep making my way up. I'm almost tempted to take you guys out, but you'll probably run away before I even do anything to you guys if I wanted to. And you guys are gonna offer now. Like, no, I'm not paying you for this. Yes, I have a small little stockpile of money. I need to save that money though, so I'm not paying you guys. If it was just uh, non-aggression for non-aggression, <sighs> I have been raiding your stuff, so I'm not surprised you guys want to hear. I'm actually not gonna ask. Yeah, you guys are unreliable right now. I'm actually not gonna ask for my allies for help. Not gonna ask for their help here, because I might actually just have this organization go towards their territory. Um, I do have my one force up around there that's just continually, continuously raiding them. They're just going to stay there. Um, I, I could actually have it so, essentially, they'll stay around there. God, I do not like how much power you guys have. You guys are massive right now in terms of the land you have. I know it's because a lot of your territories are free, uh, your armies are free upkeep right now for a little bit. Let's see, join war against you guys. No. I am giving you guys territory the next turn, though, so you guys will be able to get a little bit more uh, aid from me in that regard. So, for right now, though, let's see. So, not a crusher pack broken. Yeah, I'm at war with you guys now. And then we did get a decent chunk of money from that. Okay, so what we're going to do is, again, let's get out of here. And then I can't demolish this anymore. Um, let's now just go to my allies. So, talk to you guys, because you just don't like me all that much. But basically, you do like the trees. But I will give you guys... Guardians. So I'll give you guys that. You guys can take that territory. And then I will now start making my way out of here. Technically, I don't have to raid your stuff. But I need to keep making money. So I will. That's uh, fine. If anything, technically, I can have it. So, like, uh, let me talk to you guys. If I give you guys a gift of this, I actually, so that gets you guys to like me a little bit more. Also, it makes it so I'm actually making more money than I'm losing from raiding. So I'm essentially getting like 1400 for me doing this because of the reduced upkeep and stuff like that. And I can pay them. I can just keep paying you guys a little bit every once in a while. Um, that's still going up. It was 51, now it's 53%. Fuck. Yeah, I really need to start getting my war weariness to go down. You're at least here. Like, what's in this army here? I actually think... Let's do this. Pull you, uh, actually, no, I think it's fine for you to still keep raiding. Eh, no, it's fine. Yeah, pull back here. Get some recovery. And I think what I can try... So I'm still making money, so I can have it so you don't have to be raiding. Um, I'll have you go here. I could try and have you just starve this area out. Because if they tried to go out in the offensive, because this is an army of just horse archers, I might win that fight. And then we can get that city there. Because we need to keep, we need to win fights to get my um, war weariness to go down. Or we need to have it so that we are no longer at war with so many damn people. Um, at war with currently five people. I know. I'm, I'm just going to keep trying to you guys, like, every turn, possibly, to see if you guys will offer me a peace treaty, or every other turn. Because I need to get my war weariness down. This is too high. Because, like, what is my morale on my units right now? Like, you guys... Yeah, you guys are at 36 morale for you, which is pretty bad. 
That's that explains why these guys they have fourteen morale. Oh god, that explains why you guys break so fucking easily is because of that. Like the fact that I just saw an army. Yeah, right down here. Oh, it's not great. What could I recruit around here? I actually could have a small, slightly larger army right now if I want to. So, population-wise, we do not have a lot of population at all. Let's see. Air fire is all the same. These guys are faster. And slightly cheaper. This one would be the best if I'm going to get anything. Just because it has a lot of guys in it. So I could grab two of you. I think I'm going to grab three. I'll be losing a little bit of money, but I'll grab three of you guys. Just so we have more around here. Because I want to go on the offensive and try and take this city. But I think I'm going to have you guys do that. So go with that. This is 55%. Stop going up. Um, you need to keep making my. Well, actually, let's let's check something. I probably shouldn't, but I could give you guys probably peace. No, it's actually low. Never mind. I might have it that we ignore the uh, Teutonics then, because we might have it so that we can ignore the Teutonics. Like, hey, I'm still gonna make my way up here. We're still gonna go on up and deal with and take Riga. We'll still do that. We'll have us. So we'll still subjugate you guys. But then I don't think I'm gonna start the war with the Teutonics because I need to turn back around and start making my way to help out against you guys. Which also, you joined on in. Bulgaria joined on in, so I'm at war with them and Nicaea. So I think that'll be the time for me to start properly trying to conquer by pushing down there. Because I would like to not lose these three territories, because these are the main areas I actually want to keep. Um, so I can kind of build them up. But for right now, like the best thing I can do is like I'll try this. I'll try and get some more horse archers here. And if I can, I'd like to try and harass them. I am at least in an area that I could sail out. Yeah, because I, I could sail out of the city because I have the port here. If they decide to start sieging that area. These guys are making their way straight towards Bilgorod. Uh, okay. Let's assassinate fallen character. I don't have a way to assassinate right now. Um, another person is at war with you. Let's now see if that's enough to then convince you guys to give me a piece. Speak. There we go. Okay, so I can get a piece with you guys. I'm actually going to demand some money from this. So we at least get a peace treaty with you because you're not worth so many people. Because we just need... Let's see, 2,400? Nope, I'm not going to be able to get 2,400. So let's try... Probably 2,100? Nope, okay. Let's try 1,800. Because if I can get at least one piece... There we go. I'll try with you guys, too. I'll see if you guys are actually open to it as well. Still low. What if I offer you money, though? Like, what if I just offer you the 1800 I just got from your friend? No. If I even gave you all my money, would it even be enough? No. Okay. So, I at least got one more peace treaty. That's something. War wariness is still 57 fucking percent. Um, oh, God. Because I'm currently at war with... Kiev, Nicaea, Bulgaria, and Yogi. So I'm about to have it so that we will, we will be finishing up these guys. They've got an army in there. Um, I want to sit here one more turn just so I can get a little bit more recovery. Or we could start pushing up into you guys. But I just won't get any recovery. At the moment, it'll take me about two turns to get up there. Yeah, I probably should get a little bit more recovery. I get five more in here. I have most... I have pretty much all my horse archers. No, fuck it. Let's, let's go into here. Then I'm also making money this turn. So, we'll do that. And then over here... You're probably going to disembark. I might actually have it so what I do is... Um, I'd be losing money, but I think I might just grab three more of these guys, just so we have more men around here. Because I can try and do some hit-and-run tactics against this army. Essentially, if they try and siege this territory, I can go out of the port, run out, hit them, do use up all my ammunition, and run. And just keep rinsing and repeating that. Like, that's, that's the whole point, I think, for a lot of our forces. 
Because we just want to kind of delay them. So, like, we can try that. I'll, I'll be losing a little bit of money. But, hey, I've got the stockpile, and that's why I have the stockpile of money. Actually, I do want to double-check that before I forget. Um, do you guys actually want to fight me? Moderate. If I offer you money, you might actually leave this war. Let's offer you a little bit. There we go. So I can at least get you out of the war. So that way I have less people that are fighting me. So that's something. That is something. So I don't have, to, don't have to worry about you. I just have to worry about the Nicaeans right now. And I'm about to start finishing up. And that will get rid of the forces of Kiev. Once I get up here. Take you guys out. Then I'll only be at war with two factions. Hopefully my war weariness starts going down at that point. Because it, it being at 57% is horrendous. Okay, so they did disembark. So they disembarked around here. Just like I thought. Now, let's see, faction countered. We got a population surplus right here where I'm staying right now. This is another reason why I really don't want to lose this area then. So we've got this. So we've got a little bit more armed forces. They have a ton of infantry. That's all they have. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so first and foremost, let's remember to continue moving up here. Because you guys, I won't be able to hit them this turn. But let's at least, we should be able to get at least in range to kind of see like what's going on. Like what they've got around here. So they've got an army there. I will start taking... Uh, I'll start losing money. When I start sieging you guys. I want to see if I can maybe hit you guys while you're out in the open field. Because I can just keep sitting here and raid you guys. If I need to. War weariness is going down though. That is good. Um, I do think though. What we want to do is... Right now... Let's see. I need to get something. I'm gonna, I am going to upgrade this area. Because we can get something for food. Because it'll give me a little bit of money, a little bit of food in this area. I am still losing money, yes, but I need something that gives me some food in this area. Because then you guys will be a bit happier in this area. But what I want to do is we're now going to have it. So I want to fight this force. We're going to try and do... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if I take out... Because this is a general's a cab bodyguard. Um... I could actually possibly kill this entire army, depending on how this goes. They have an army 3 to 1, but if I can get rid of all of their cavalry and their general's bodyguard... Like, if I run out of ammo and I have not killed enough, I'm just going to withdraw. Because essentially, that's what I... I have the advantage here. I am completely mobile. They are not. So, we're going to want to try and focus down general's bodyguard, cavalry, and archers. Everybody else we don't give a shit about. Um, we can try and have it so that, again, if we run out of ammo, we're just going to withdraw. And we'll come back again once we've been able to get some replenishment and more ammo. Because I'm going to make sure you guys regret coming up here. And I will gladly be pushing on into you guys after this. Like, if I'm not going to go subjugate the forces of the Teutonics, I'll probably just come back down here. And I'll actually start a war again with um, Bulgaria when I'm ready for them. And then we start kind of expanding down to the south a little bit. Um, because I don't think I'm going to go to the east just yet. I do need to get that land back. Again, I need my own territory to be able to actually improve my economy properly. But, uh, like, hey, I'm slowly building up the regions I do have to fund my wars. I'm just hoping we can, like, if we can take out the General's Bodyguard and the Cav. Again, I could maybe win this fight. It's iffy. There's a lot of spearmen here. But I could possibly win it because they have like no skirmishers whatsoever. And it's just wide open fields. Fuck yes. That is what I want to see. Okay, so we'll have it so you guys over here. You guys. Okay, so basically having like three little groups. You, you, and you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the battle. Make my way forward. Also, my rate of fire should be faster because we're in an open field like this. Because uh, that's one of our faction of benefits. Um, missile damage is higher. Is that because of the rate of fire? No. It's not specifying that. Morale's high right now, though, which is good. But yeah, so what we'll do is we're going to make my way forward. Just bodyguard is this cab unit. Yeah, I'd like to take him out. If we don't take him out, that's okay. Um, I think they... Do I outrange... I think they outrange me with their archers. They only have two of them. Most of the forces will be actually focusing on the side over here. Because we want to focus, like, down you. 
So, like, you guys can kind of go off to the side here a bit more. All of these guys off to the side here. Because we're just focusing on, like, pure damage. As much damage as we can do with my missiles. And we'll pull back. We're not going to overextend for the most part. I just want to make sure you, yeah, like, try and surround them. Hey, you guys, focus this unit down. Up and fire barrage on this fucker. Make sure you hit kill him as soon as you possibly can. Because if we can take this uh, horse archer out, that will be amazing for us. You guys gotta get around the side here. I'd like to have you guys focus on the Jones bodyguard. Yeah, he actually ran into melee there. Okay, focus on these guys. You guys. Let's see. I don't like that you guys are melee here with us. Yeah, try and shoot them there. You guys back up here. Again, this is the whole reason why if we if we get too much resistance, we will be withdrawing. But we're just trying to do as much damage as we physically can. Yeah, now focus on these guys. You guys now try and back up. Yeah, you try and back up. You guys are going to try and take out the general if you can. Or at least weaken him. You guys back away. Pull back here. Yeah, try and go here. You guys just keep trying to run back. Jones bodyguard. That arch is kind of vulnerable. We might try and charge on into you. This guy might just have him withdraw. Wait, now try and focus fire this guy. You guys just keep trying to run back this way. And yeah, keep trying to get over here so you can hit him because he's almost dead. I would love to hit this archer unit. Yeah, this guy's almost dead. Come on, take him out. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that unit's now pretty much dead. Now, essentially, again, if I can take out the general and the archers, the rest of this is not that bad. Like, now you guys specifically, I kind of want you guys to be the ones focusing over here, if you can. These four pull back. Distract this army. Do what damage you can. We've already taken out about a hundred of them. Let's see. You guys can charge into this archer here. You can charge in there. You guys just keep trying to run around. I don't like how close we are to them, but I think that's okay. I'm going to bring, try and bring you guys over here to help out my cab here. Because we want to focus on the general's bodyguard. Because if we can focus him down, like yeah, you four start focusing him down... Then the rest of this army, we might be able to just fully break them. Like, that's the hope, yeah, because, like, you four here, your ability's almost back off on recharge. Uh, what ability do you have? You have War Cry, so yeah, break that archer faster, if you can. And yeah, we got the horse archers. Oh, who's. Yeah, it's just you guys. Yeah, these three you're fighting. Yeah, try and. You guys are just supposed to be focusing down the Jones bodyguard. You guys just keep looping around here, keep just tiring these guys out. Yeah, the arch is now broken. These guys are nearby, but I don't want to. I don't think I have to worry too much about them. And yeah, the Jones is not taking as much damage as I like. Just break the archer, fully shatter that unit, and then we'll pull back. You guys keep coming around here. He's not taking damage right now. The only good unit in melee is my general's bodyguard, so I'm not surprised. I'm gonna pull you guys back now. You guys pull back, too. You're getting too close to those javelins. Get back over here. Now, let's see if we can get the general to chase us. Because if we can get him to chase us, then that's perfect. We're already getting them to tire themselves out a ton. Yeah, get you guys to pull back here. Pull back here. You two keep trying to regroup with us. Yep, there we go. Now the general's chasing us. Okay, so that means you four are basically the ones trying to shoot him, while these three are the ones distracting him. Try and get these guys over around as well, so we can focus the general down. Yeah, because you guys focus in. You have your ability, so barrage. Get that up in there. You guys keep running back. You're trying to get over here. There we go. He's starting to take some damage. Keep chasing him. You guys keep pulling back. You guys need to hurry up. Yeah, because he's at four. Yeah, he's starting to take damage. Slowly but surely, he's taking damage. If we can get rid of this unit, um, that archer's almost dead. The javelins I outrange. So we don't have to worry about that as much. Hey, you guys try and do your barrage ability. 
And then keep running back. He's down to 36 now. So he's almost dead. There we go, 29. Yep, keep running. You try and get them closer to my other horse archers. Who should now be able to open fire into him as well. Right there. There. And I'm glad that we've been able to get them to kind of spread out a little bit more with all of their spearmen. There we go. Yeah, this guy's almost dead. As soon as this general dies, that will really determine how this battle is going to go. Because we might be able to straight up have it so that we can just start running down the units. Yeah, look at my drone's bodyguard to charge in there to help out. You guys kind of pull back. Yeah, he's running. Make sure he dies. Okay, stop trying to shoot him. Now we need to start trying to shoot other units. I'd say out of these two groups, uh, this group is a bit easier for us to shoot. Because this one is, has their javelins, but that's about it. So yeah, just make sure, yeah, General's dead. Now, let's try and do as much damage as we can to this army. If we can't do enough with my ammo, I will withdraw. Because if I, if I can get them to a point where I feel like I can start charging into these units, I will gladly do so. Um, basically, I'll have you guys try and go around the side. This guy's alone. So we'll now just have it so to start unloading freely into these guys. And ideally, it's just essentially we do as much damage as we can with our ammo, see what kind of state the army's in. If they will just shatter with basic charges, I can take out this entire army. But it's whether or not we can get to them to that point with our guys. Because, like, right now, my guys are pretty fucking tired. Um, I would say try and basically, like, whittle them down more. So, like, focus on anybody that's, like, low health. Pikes would be another unit to really focus on as well. But yeah, you guys, at least, yeah, you're trying to make your way over here. You're trying to charge that archer. Because if we can kill that archer, that's the only uh, skirmisher unit that can actually hit us. As everybody else, we outrange. Because, yeah, this guy's still alive, but technically he's, like, at half health. So he's a lot easier to take out. But yeah, just focus down single units at a time. You guys charge on over here and hit this archer. They're at least really tired. They're really tired. The general is dead. So that means more than likely, and again, make sure you guys are all focusing the same unit. That way we'll make sure we properly kill them. Let's see. These guys... So being charged. Come on, break him, guys. I want to see if we can just fully outright win this fight. If we have to pull back, I will, because we are in our own territory. They'd have to start sieging the area. So if I pull back and I make sure... Be careful. Um, and I make sure that I am not inside the city, I can get recovery and they can't. And essentially... Yeah, those guys are routing. Yeah, this is where I think we're not going to be able to properly fully kill the army, but we'll do a good amount of damage. That's what it kind of feels like. I was like, right now I'm trying to make sure we're focusing on, like, these pikes. Trying to single them out. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough ammo to kill these guys. Yeah, these guys are starting to break. Those archers are about to break, though, too. Now, nah, get, get away from all the... from those spears. Yeah. Let's just make sure. Uh, let's focus down this guy here. We will be withdrawing here in a second. So yeah, keep pulling back. Ugh, almost took that guy out. Yeah, no, I, I think we're going to have to have it so that like we do as much damage as we can. But I need to start pulling. Yeah, keep pulling around it. Keep pulling away. Keep pulling away. Yeah, because I want to do as much damage as we can to these infantry units. I want to make sure they're fully shattered, though, too. This guy's not. I need to get them down below 10% of their health if we're killing units. Yeah, you guys keep pulling back. Yeah, keep pulling back, keep pulling back. I think I can still have you guys try and shoot this guy. Let's see, this guy's down to try and charge into him a little bit. Yeah, this guy's at 21. I need to make sure we fully take out those units, though. Yeah, so charge in here. Get this guy below 10%. And then let's go and charge this guy, too. Get rid of him. That one is good. So now pull back. Get over here. I still think I can take out this archer. You guys, I think we can do a little bit more damage at least to this guy, so I can get you guys close enough. Try and shoot him, because you still have ammo. I'm almost out of ammo on these units. But I think we can try and have it so essentially... Yeah, you guys are starting to just break. Now, you guys charge here. You guys charge here. I'm at least taking out these two archers. And then... 
I think I... Yeah, he's over there. I want to get to him still. I'm going to try and get to that unit if I can to try and run him down. Yeah, you guys you guys try and shoot this unit. I think these archers, if they charge... In my horse archers, if they charge into these units, we can take these guys out. So I'm at least taking out at least five units. Six, technically, the general. But they'll be able to put another general's bodyguard into the army. A unit is running from the enemy. But yeah, at least get that. Yeah, run this guy down. Make sure they're down below 10% uh, of the unit. Then it's fully destroyed. Yeah, you guys pull back. Get away from that spearman. Might be able to take you out. God, if they spread out enough, I could win this fully. But they're still pretty blobbed up. Yeah, you guys can ignore him. I need to tell... I might not be able to get to this guy in time before he's off the map. I was able to take out this other spearman over here. My one guy... One of my guys did route. If we could get these two guys to shatter... Like, I could win this. These guys are, yeah. They're, they got a way over here. They're still too blobbed up. And I think we've taken too much damage that I will pull back. We've been able to kill about 800 guys. Uh, but so, yeah, like this guy... Well, now let's start withdrawing. So you guys start withdrawing. Start withdrawing. Because at this point in time right now, we've done a good amount of damage. We're practically out of ammo. And I think it's better for us to make sure that we pull back now while we've taken as little damage as possible. And now we'll have it so that we'll be able to come back and deal with these guys later. Because still taking out 800 of their units is not bad. I, I just need to make sure that I pull back and I'm not going to sit in my city. But we're going to be nearby it as we get replenishment. Because at least we did good damage. We did a good amount of damage to this army. And... Um, it's not winter right now, so they're not going to be taking attrition. But at least right now, like, this is not bad. These are the kind of fights I want. Because if we get more fights like this, I can take advantage of the fact that we have horse archers that are extremely mobile. It's like, that's what we want. Yeah, so, close defeat technically, but I purposely withdrew. I lost about, yeah, 267 guys. They lost about 800. I took out the... took out both. I should, should have taken out both cab units... The general's bodyguard, one of those spears, one of the pikes, two of the archers, and then this guy got away. But that's a good chunk of their army dead. Like, the one that did the most damage was their general's bodyguard. Yeah, because let's see, so... Ah, oh, I didn't kill the horse archer. And this one got away. Damn it! Okay. They can't replenish around here, though. Finding shelter! But yeah, no. So I am back here. I'm not... Like, if they want to try and come at me and fight me, that's fine if they want to. Um, oh, there's mercenaries around here too if I wanted to. I actually should probably grab those so they don't. Let's grab all the cav. Just because I want to make sure they don't grab those. I wonder. Let's see. Do not waste time. No. I'm losing a bit more than I'd like right now, but it's just temper. I could actually not do this. Merge these guys together. That'll save me some money and get you guys to better health. So merge you guys. I'm gonna keep you alive for now. These ones are good enough units. So I'm gonna keep you. Um, but that way, at least, we save a little bit of money. I would like to start raiding, but again, I just want to make sure they don't get any of their cab units. So, any of the cab units that are mercenaries. So, we'll grab all the mercenary cab. And then, honestly, if I had the mercenary cab when I did this, the start of the fight, I think we could have won that then. But I just for completely forgot about trying to get mercenaries. Okay, so they decided to fortify. Interesting. Okay, so now, I'm honestly probably going to go on the offense. Especially now that we have uh, more of these guys. Yeah, so a lot of their skirmishers are still pretty beat up. They do have a new general's bodyguard. That's fine. But I think... I think with what we've got, we could probably go on the off offensive there. Um, let's pay him off right now. Fixed our food shortage, though. Let's see. Peace connection with you. I'm going to keep trying with you guys. Speak. I will listen. Still low. There were so many people, though. I'm hoping they'll eventually want to try and stop this. Welcome Do you guys want trade? Friend. No, trust. not the moment. Okay. So we've got that. I'm still raiding up here. 
I want you to move out of that city. Because I can't, I can't, it has no garrison though. It straight up has no garrison. It will, oh, for two turns. Fuck, I want to start sieging it then. I will start losing money though if I come out of this. Also, my war radius is fucking 61%. Oh god, my morale is so high. Um, my morale is so low. I mean, you guys don't want to accept a peace. Hi. Okay. I wanted to subjugate you guys, but I sh I, I need to get my war weariness down. I'm gonna demand money though. In regards to this, at least then, so I can get. Three thousand? No! Fuck no! I you can pay more than that. Twenty five hundred? Yeah. Two K difference? Fuck you. Okay. So we got that. I will now withdraw. I will now pull away. I'm gonna leave them alone for right now. I wanted to subjugate those guys, but the fact that like I'd be losing so much money. I, I need to now start pushing over here. Because I think what we'll do is I want to go on the offensive against the forces of... Oh! Look at that! Epirus uh, took that territory. Nice. Um, but you know, so I think what we'll do is here... Essentially, I'm gonna, I should be able to beat these guys back now, I think. With the army I've got. We can then try and have it so that we'll do... Is, let's try and have it so that we'll get rid of my mercenaries after this. I just think, yeah, this should be a lot better now. Number-wise, they only outnumber me 2 to 1 as opposed to three to one. And I have some proper melee cab now here too. So we can try and have it so we need to take out the general's bodyguard. They have practically no skirmishers. They do have their towers, which is kind of annoying. Um, I have all my horse archers though, so we can like just unload into them. Because essentially what we need to do is we just need to focus down their general's bodyguard. I can try and have my melee cab run on in, try and whittle down anybody that's like low and try and take towers out. And then essentially, if we just focus fire the Jones bodyguard down with all my horse archers, he should die pretty quickly, and then we can just... should be able to just honestly just kind of rout the infantry. And if we have to, we can pull back again after I'm out of ammo. I just prefer to win the fight, because I need to get my war weariness down. It is way too high at this point in time. I, I can't effectively fight wars with my war weariness being at like 60 fucking percent. So let's get rid of that. So their general's bodyguard is over on this side. Yeah, because essentially what we can try and do... Towers will do a little bit of damage, but probably not a lot. Melee Cav, get you guys up. Again, get you guys in a group, get you guys in a group. I just don't like how beat up these guys are. But yeah, we need to just focus single dot units down. So essentially everybody but my melee cav focus to oh oh wait. Wait a second. They're advancing out. If they're advancing out, that changes things. Still want to focus down the general's bodyguard first. But that's a lot easier to do when he's walking out of the fort. So you guys, yeah, all get in range of him. Focus him down. Come on, you guys should be able to shoot him right now. Yeah, do barrage too. Get that increased rate of fire. Focus him down. And on my melee cab, you guys get up here. Yeah, he can just focus down their general's bodyguard. Just everybody single him out. Because if this guy dies, it'll be so much easier to break the enemy army. We are still in range of their towers, but not nearly as bad out here. But yeah, just specifically try and target him. He should start slowly taking damage as we're sitting here. Melee cap. I think I might have you guys like start running around. Just like have you guys go on inside and start trying to shoot the... Oh, no, they're going to back up here. Never mind. So if I have to, I'll have you guys fight in melee. I'd like to just shoot him, though. You, know, you guys kind of pull back. If I have to, melee cav. I guess pull back. Melee cav, I'd say charge into this guy. Charge into the general's bodyguard. 
you guys can keep trying to shoot him, but also try and shoot other people. I think just let my melee cat focus them down. My guys over here, I'll start trying to focus down. Yeah, the horse archers are almost dead. There you go. Yeah, just pull back, start unloading into these guys. Yep, enemy general's out of the picture. Now, we want to, yeah, pull back here at the Melikav. Um, I might actually, yeah, I think my Melikav, let's have you guys. So for right now, now we're just trying to harass the hell out of them. So yeah, keep pulling back. Melikav, let's get you guys back here. All of you go take out towers and try and take this so they have less morale. And then I can just have everybody else just start firing. Just single out units. Try and soften them up. Is I can get them low enough, we can just try and have it so that we will start charging into these guys. So yeah, you especially just like, yeah, charge on on here. Take towers. Take this point here. Yeah, just ignore people that are like high health. Or, uh, try and pull back again. Keep pulling back, guys. I want to keep focusing down the same units. Because if we can just make sure that we whittle them down enough... That we charge into these guys, that's exactly what we want. So, like, this guy's at, like, half health. Because if we can get you guys below, like, half health, it's a lot easier to charge into you guys. Keep focusing over here. Yeah, try and get rid of that morale bonus. Because how much of a morale bonus is that? They're about 40 morale right now. So I'm curious what it's going to be after we take out the morale bonus they're getting. Oh, this guy's already about to break, so just charge him. Because he should just shatter off a good charge. Come on. I want you to break, guys. There you go. Yeah, run him down. Get him below 10% of his health. Keep pulling back. You guys can kind of do the same thing. Yeah, because that's what we want to do. Let's see. Keep pulling back. Morale bonus is almost under my control. So this guy's at like 46. This one's at 40. I want to see what the difference is. Yeah, so it's now under my control. Uh, I don't see a change. This guy's got higher morale now. What the fuck? Okay, you guys pull back. Uh, focus this guy. Ignore anybody that's like wavering like this. We don't care about you. This guy is low enough. Yeah, he's down to one guy. There we go. Yeah, if I would have had the mercenaries with the other four fight, I think we would have had this. Now have you guys train. Oh, uh, actually, you guys are a bit beat up, so you guys should hold off. Hold off there. Uh, you guys now. Yeah, start taking out these towers. Actually, I don't even need to worry about the towers. They're so far away from the fort now. Yeah, just start charging in over here. As we're gonna have you start charging the guys that have really low health. As my horse archers just keep softening them up. So like you guys keep shooting this guy. Ignore him. He's weakened enough that I can charge into that guy. These horse archers, yeah, you can go for this archer here. That guy's running. And this fight, since we did do a fight specifically in a fort. Um, as long as I win, they die. So we don't have to run them down. We can just make sure that you guys, if we can just break them all, then we win too. Yeah, you guys go over here. You guys shoot them. We can kind of speed this up now, though. Because things are going perfectly in our favor now. I just need to keep pulling back and make sure you guys don't get into melee with us. Yeah, melee cab. Now you start doing your thing. There we go. Yeah, start ignoring the guys that are beat up enough. Keep playing back there. Okay. Let's get over here. Focus these guys down. Yeah, no, those bikes died there. There. There we go. There we go. First proper win in for fucking ever in this campaign, and I'm so happy about it. Because we've been on the defensive for so long, trying to just hold people at bay. Yeah, focus on this guy. He's almost out. Some of these are getting low. Almost want to hit those javelins. Okay, pull back again. Pull back. You guys can go for you for this javelin. Focus down the spearmen. They're almost all dead. Yeah, and then we're going to get rid of the mercenaries in this army after this fight. I'll keep all the horse archers. For the most part. But yeah, there we go. I now might be able to convince Nicaea for peace, but probably not. I will probably want to keep fighting them because I want to take some sort of territory. And pushing on into Crimea would not be the worst option, honestly. Because we could go on and take Crimea and then have it so that that's another area for you to expand to. It does get us closer to the Mongol hordes. 
which I would kind of prefer to avoid if possible. Okay, there we go. Uh, I kind of want the money. We, it's, we don't need the punishment. How'd you still survive? You should have died. Yeah, they have, like, nothing left here. We're going to fight... Uh, yeah, I want to fight this myself, because otherwise they're going to make me lose the units I do care about. Wait, no, let's fight these guys. Finish them off properly. I thought they were going to properly die because they are in the fort, but no. Sadly not. But they have literally nothing that matters. This is all spearmen and javelins, so this matter army cannot touch me physically. So I can just have it so that we'll just rush on in here, shoot them all to death. Then, um, I should be able to have this army, we could just make my way over and start starving out Crimea until we take it. Like, I think that's not a bad idea. Um, I could try and have it so... If I'm going to continue pushing to the south, I will want to go to war with Bulgaria again. Because I, I don't want to randomly take territory that's too far away from the land I have right now. If I'm going to be trying to control it. I mean, let's start the battle. So the most part is just run on up here, shoot them all to death, and we win. Because <laughs> the, these guys cannot contend with this army whatsoever at all now. Not with how many horse archers I've got. Yeah, this is just going to be a one-sided massacre. Like, I've got all of my guys surrounding you. Uh, make sure to do your barrage ability. Just make sure they don't get close enough to try and hit you guys with the javelins. Because for the most part, this is just keep them at bay, keep shooting them, and they're just going to keep breaking. I should not take it. I've taken two casualties already. What the fuck? God damn it. There's no way in hell you guys should have been able to take deal any damage to this army at all. They may have gotten a stray shot with their javelins. There we go. Yeah, practically everything's dead now. It's like, like 26 guys. There we go. Now they're properly dead. Literally, it was all friendly fire. No, no. One of their spearmen did get some kills. They got eight. But there was ten shots of friendly fire. Okay, that makes sense. But there we go. Now we have it so that army is now destroyed. I'm going to get rid of the Melikav, because uh, we don't have enough money for them. Um, and then I'm going to start making my way over to try and get to Kaffa. We can have this army go up that way, raid up that way. Um, get the money. It's 48%. Oh my god, it's going down. There we go. But now let's get rid of the Melikav. Melikav we're going to get rid of. That saves us so much money right there. Um, I can't raid right now. I'll go sit in the city for right now. If I start raiding with this force, they should... I should be making money. Um, you... Please get, yeah, more integrity in this army. And then this area... I need more replenishment! So, grab that. And then, yeah, we'll start making my way over. We'll see if next turn I could try and almost ask for his peace with them. But I do want to try and take Kaffa. I do want to try and take that with this force. And then basically, I would have loved if I could have uh, got you guys, but I, I need to get my War Warriors down. It cannot be this high. And right now, at least, I know you guys... I need you to be at war with, like, one more person, I feel like. And then you guys might actually accept a ceasefire with me. Yeah, I'm still losing a little bit of money, but, you know, I say, I think if I take you guys... I kind of want to replenish a little bit more before I do... Um, let's go to the edge of my territory, raid, yeah, that I am making money, then I think I'll take some time to recover first, and then we'll make my way over to hit Kaffa. Uh, let's see, my war weariness is at 50%. Curious, since I destroyed that army. Yeah, you guys don't want to accept a peace. And then let's just try again with you guys. Every time I check diplomacy, I should try and check and see. Because I need to get my war weariness down, because I'm only at war with you two right now. War readiness right now is at 50%, so it's slightly going up again. But at least right now... I could properly maybe go on the offensive with you. If these guys won't give me peace, I could go on the offense. I don't like that idea, but it's it's possible. So yeah, we'll try and send you guys over down this way. And I need to try and have it. So yeah, start trying to walk on in through, get back over to my territory, recover in the meantime. Because we could do that. I do need to push back over here at some point. I could try and go for Tana. 
Um, I could possibly liberate people from this territory, so I don't control it myself. Initially, at least. So we could try that. Um, I am making a little bit of money, though. I do want to try and have it, so let's grab this. Gives us more food and more money. So we're going to grab that, because I need to start improving my economy in these areas. I need to. This area is about to grow soon. You're pretty far away from being able to grow soon. But I need to start putting money into these regions to make them better. So let's get more of my stat upgrades there for you. I do need to be careful, though, that, like, <laughs> I'm not making a lot of money right now. But, like, I think this is worth it. It fixes my food issues completely, entirely. And then also gives us more peasantry and tribes of growth, which we actually need a lot of. Damn it, they brought their emperor over here. Um, oh, the general that was watching over that. Well, my heir can now take over here, I guess. Yeah, he's got good stats for this. So you'd be the one that's now taking over command of this army, because we had to execute deserters. But yeah, you guys will keep just sitting here for right now. Death of natural causes, yep. I want to have it so I can go over here and raid, but I need to get more recovery. Especially if they have this army here now. Um, so we'll be possibly having it so that essentially this army is going to keep making their way down. And once you get down here, I'll actually probably use both of you guys together to go push on into Kaffa. That's probably where we're going to be going with for right now. War Rainers is still insane. Speak ill Come on, please. Still enemy. low. Come on, guys. I just need you to stop wanting to hate me. Because, <laughs> yeah, nothing else happened. I want, them, if, I want them to be declared a uh, war on somebody else. Like, someone else declare war on them, and they might give me a beast ready. This is not what I wanted. I don't want you guys to go on the offensive. <sighs> if we win this fight, and essentially all we have to do... I want to ignore those crossbows. But basically, I, I'm just gonna delay them. I'm just gonna. You're just gonna. I'm just gonna keep kiting them. Like I will kite these guys until I, the battle's over. Essentially, like I'm gonna try and kill the general's bodyguard, kill that other cab unit. But we don't have an incentive to fight them in melee. I want to stay out of range entirely of those crossbows, if possible, because they're taking attrition. So if we win this fight, they'll start taking attrition. And we're recovering more slowly but surely. Like I'm waiting for reinforcements to get over here. Essentially, we need to try and delay this army here the best we can until reinforcements get here. Like, hey, you're trying to chase an army of only horse archers. <laughs> Have fun doing that, guys. You're not going to get anywhere. Like, the cav can actually catch up to me, but they're not going to be able to kill me because I can just unload into them and slaughter those guys. And then I have no incentive to stay in melee range uh, or uh, archery range of their crossbows. So we'll pull back here, essentially. As like, if you guys separate out, I could maybe charge into said crossbows. But for the most part, essentially, I want to just take out your cab units. You guys are just going to advance forward. Oh no, well, I'm going to spread the fuck out. I have no reason to let me. you just advance straight at me. I can back up, I can spread out, use the terrain to my advantage here. The fact that it's a giant wide open area. Yeah, they outnumber us, but I am horseback. I am, oh, they're all, yeah, they're also focusing my general's bodyguard. So I might be able to try and have it so you guys might be able to single out some units too. You know, like you guys just keep, just, just keep running around. Just keep running around, ignore them. We've already splintered off some of their troops. So let's get you guys up here. Try and hit those archers. You guys try and hit the crossbows. And yeah, just try and unload into these guys. Focus them down. Their general's coming on over here. My guys, if I can select you all. Yeah, try and run back over this way. Pull back, pull back. Just get some shots off when you can. Did a little bit of damage, but yeah, we just want to pull back. We want their general to be the one that dies. So like, let's just kind of back up. I want to take out these horse, or these uh, crossbows. But seriously, they can't do shit to me. Try, try and to take out the skirmishers though, if you can. So we want to focus these guys down. Because you guys do that. Yeah, they're bringing some of their guys over. Uh, these guys actually are pretty vulnerable. I think I'm gonna charge into you guys. We don't care about the general, the infantry. We just care about the general. Who I would like to be able to try and shoot there, if you can. 
you guys kind of pull back here a little bit. Yeah, because we'll have these guys try and charge on into these crossbows. See if we can take you guys out. Keep pulling back, guys. Yeah, now the general's pro pro properly fully forward. So now we can try and have it so you can get over here, try and shoot at him. Yeah, there we go. Uh, some of you guys should go around the back side here. So go over here to the side. So I want to try and have it so yeah, my general's dealing with them. And these two go for this guy. So we just need to take out the cab. We take out the cab and we can easily just harass and bully this army. Yeah, come on, horse archers, just keep doing your thing. Let's see. Try and target the free company militia uh, cab, men arms unit. So try and focus this guy down. Try and focus in. Their crossbows aren't really doing much, which is good for us. These guys, yeah, kind of get back over here. This unit's... Yeah, that's good enough. Charge it in there once you're done with those guys. Yeah, keep backing up. Keep backing up. Keep shooting this guy. Because he's down to 50 guys. Come on, run away. Run away, guys. You are faster than this unit. Pull the hell out of there, guys. You have no reason to be in melee with that thing. You are faster than him. Ugh, and you guys are being stupid. You should have been able to outrun him. You have way more speed than him. He has speed of 75. You have a speed of, like, what, 120? Yeah, 120. How'd they get in melee with you guys? Pull back there, guys. You're taking a lot more damage than I'd like. Yeah, this is why we need to take out the melee cap. Yeah, because you guys are done over here. Because this guy's already almost dead. Yeah, keep just running away. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay, he's almost dead. He's now taking some good damage. The general's still alive. I'm able to hit him. Uh, this guy's alone, though. I actually want to... Let's see. So we'll go around this way. So go here, loop around, because this guy's a vulnerable and alone. So we'll try and take him out. We've already wasted eight minutes of the battle. Because, again, they have to somehow kill me in an hour uh, in-game, technically. And they're not going to be able to do so as long as I... There we go. Keep them at a distance. Uh, that guy's not as vulnerable as I'd like them to be now. The pikes are... Yeah, I need to somehow get their general. Okay, so the general's kind of isolated. This guy for sure is a little bit more. I'm now going to try and charge on into this archer. You guys are trying to focus down specifically the general's bodyguard. Yeah, like, try and take out this one archer unit if we can. We've already so far taken out, like, yeah, 300 guys. We've lost about 80. It's not the best, but if we can take out the general's bodyguard, or at least weaken him, because he's out here on uh, my territory and turf, uh, if I weaken him, he'll be a lot easier to try and just take out later. So yeah, try and take out the cab units here. You guys, you keep trying to run forward here a little bit. You guys are supposed to be trying to run around a little bit more, if anything. Maybe kind of get back over here, because we need to take out the general's bodyguard, or at least weaken him. Yeah, this skirmisher is now broken, so you can try properly try and run him down. You guys need to keep him in si line of sight. Same over here. This blob I still want to technically ignore. Let's see, I've been able to take out uh, three units of skirmishers right now. Um, they had like eight of them, I think it was. So, I might actually just fully win this fight right now, actually, depending on how this goes. Like, the general's bodyguard just sitting here. He's just letting me shoot him. So we're going to take out the Emperor. Take out the Emperor there. Uh, you guys... If you're gonna shoot anybody, shoot that Swordsman. And I'll try and charge into this guy. Yeah, now that they're isolated. Yeah, focus down the Jones Bodyguard. He's already almost dead. So I'll charge you in here. I only see two Skirmishers. They have a lot of Pikes, which is a bit concerning. Because those will not be fun to charge into. Yeah, like, yeah, you guys are running out of ammo. The General is now dead. So that's perfect. Yeah, so now just finish off his bodyguard. Yeah, they're uh, running. Yeah, start shooting these infantry units now. Oh yeah, those uh, those javelins are already wavering. There we go. Yeah, because get my general in, in here. You can easily take out these crossbows. There we go. Also, you usually have way better battle, uh, battle abilities than my other general. Beautiful. Okay, so now... 
ammo into pikes, and then we charge into archers. Because if we can do that, we've won this fight, and we'll just straight up fully destroy it. Let's see, you guys kind of get over here. You guys need to get over here. You guys are almost out of ammo, so you'll be the ones primarily charging. Yeah, because as long as we can whittle down the pikes, we should be okay. At least they have no shields, so they're a lot easier to focus down. Let's get over here. You guys have, like, basically no ammo. But yeah, trying to unload. Uh, yeah, use your barrage ability. Focus down the pikes. Because they've got, let's see, 800 guys left. They only outnumber us by 2 to 1. You guys have no ammo now. Uh, I'm gonna do this, so you try and charge here. You guys try and... Actually, no, if I'm gonna charge any unit. Mm, I, sh I should get rid of those javelins if I can. Let's see, these guys, like, you can stop ignoring, you can stop shooting that unit now. I just wanna get them down to about half. So you get you around the side here. You kinda up around this way. And keep whittling down this guy. Because this guy we can charge into and break him at any time now, basically. Same thing for you guys, almost. Okay, let's do this. Two of you here. Two of you here. You guys are going to come around and charge on him this way. This unit needs to take some damage a bit more. We'll him down. Hey, is that guy shattered? I'd love to run these guys down. Just so that we don't they don't get to keep this army at all. But we'll see. Let's see. Those guys are broken. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, you guys hit these pikes. Because if they're already breaking like this, then that's perfect. Let's see. Uh, you guys... You guys are out of ammo. That's not what I meant for you to do. Oh, that's not what I meant for you to do at all. Yeah, it's, it's all down to these pikes. If we break the pikes without issue, then we are fine. But that was not what I wanted right there. I didn't realize you guys are practically out of ammo. Take out this unit. You guys need to focus on the pikes. With you guys basically out of ammo, you're now going to work in tandem with these guys. Let's try and get rid of this other crossbow. So you guys can go there. Go up around the top side. They're almost done. Yeah, some of you guys are breaking. Your morale's pretty low. Oh, come on. Yeah, just start routing. Oh, they're so close. Make sure they, they're below 10% of the unit. Ah, oh, we're almost out of ammo. Well, they're in a position right now. You guys hold off for a second. Wait just a bit. Now charge. Yeah, because we can break this pike pretty easily. There we go. Hey, there we go. Okay, run them down. Run the rest of them down. That way we get to the, uh... It's not the Magic 85. It doesn't run off the ring off. Uh, oh my god. Roll off the tongue as easily. Uh, we can kill this army as long as we uh, keep running them down a little bit more. And get more experience. Yeah, just run these guys down. Make sure they get below 10% of the units. I might just still call it the Magic 85. It's essentially the same thing. It's close. Yeah, essentially, you're still getting 85% of their army overall. But you have to get everybody below 10%. Or it's closer to, like, properly decimate. Eh, no, not exactly. Okay, let's see this guy. Come on. There we go. That's good now. Beautiful. Now we've slain the Emperor of Nicaea. Love it. So now, uh, I didn't actually take all that many casualties. I took 152. That's not that bad. General's bodyguard got a lot of kills. Uh, now we need to have it. So yeah, we keep replenishing around here. Wait for reinforcements from my king. And then it's going to be father and son pushing into the Empire of Nicaea, basically. There we go. All that survived was t three units. Okay. Thought I grabbed everybody. Um, I kind of want replenishment, but also money. I'll grab the replenishment this time. Just because we did take quite a bit. So, getting 12%. That's that's a little bit at least back for the army. And now we can just keep trying to raid you guys. I'm sad they're not going to take attrition now because they were pushed back, but that's fine. At least that means, like, again, every time I get a victory, my war weariness goes down. So that's great. Um, Non-aggression pact. Worthy allies and suggest that you consider an alliance. 
I'm fine. Except for now. You're not asking me to pay you, so I think that's fine. Even though I know I want that territory back at some point. It's at 49%. Yeah, we'll be able to recover a little bit. I could actually go finish this army off before they properly recover. I'm kind of tempted to. Uh, Kermesians are dead. Yeah, so you now finish that up. I'm now making a little bit more money. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I want to upgrade these, but I do not really have the extra cash for that. I think essentially what we're going to do is uh, I want to wait until this area grows, which is actually going to be next turn. This area, um, I should get... I'll probably get this, actually. Because it does give me culture. And I have plenty of food. So we can get that. That'll give us a little bit more money. This army is now fully recovered, at least. And so you keep making your way over here. I do kind of want to take that out. You know what? Actually, no, fuck it. I'm not going to... If you want to fight me, go for it. I'm right here. If you want to get across this uh, this area, you have to go through this army. So I am going to just sit here. Although I don't like how... Yeah, integrity is questionable. Yeah, I think we'll keep sitting here trying to recover. And then for the most part right now, we're just waiting until I'd say at least these guys get up here. Well, I'm actually, I would actually lose money if I... Yeah, if I start raiding you, I'd start losing money. I wonder if I can get a ceasefire to you guys. You usually have a decent amount of land. Yeah, it's still low. Might as well try again with you guys. No, nope, still low. It's always worth a shot. Yeah, now we got that population surplus. So that is over here. And we're going to grab, again, as I think we will grab this building here. Public order, cultural income, gives me access to my priests. It's perfect for us right now. I do want that rating income stuff bonus up there somewhere. But no, we can grab this for right now. Don't have as much of a bonus for money right now as I'd like. But it's something. Also, I don't like that you guys are... How old are you, man? You're 40? Fuck. You're gonna die soon, I feel like. Which is not what I want. Because you're the only reason these areas are happy. Uh, this army here... Once you're fully recovered, I'm actually gonna have you start raiding in these territories. But for right now, you can't. Uh, I'm still making my way down. We're almost here. About, uh, what is it? Three turns? Four. About almost four turns. Three to four turns. Yeah, three turns until I can get to my border. Four turns until I can like, start pushing into Kaffa. And there we go. I'm actually making a little more money. I'm sorry, Poland. You've been great to me, but I also need the money you give me for letting me raid your territories. Honestly, uh, they actually still love me in some regards. They don't like the... They actually don't care about the raiding as much. You do. That, that's going to start going away, though, now that I'm not raiding you guys. Yeah, because you guys don't like me all that much. You like the treaties. You do like my raiding of these guys. You do. I wonder, is there anybody that would want to trade with me right now? Let's see. So, Hungary, do you want to trade? Welcome, guest. I trust no. Denmark. For my people's part, no. No. Epirus. Welcome, worthy guest. No. Bulgaria. I'm again I'm probably gonna go to war with you guys at some point. No. You guys hate me. We offer you honest welcome. Ah, oh, moderate! Nah, I'd have to probably offer them something. No guy horse. Oh, you guys are going to war with them now. Ooh. You guys are being beaten back. It's still low. It's, worth, it's, it's, it's getting to the point, though. I might be able to actually start getting a piece with you guys. I need to get my war readiness down so goddamn much. Because, again, especially with the public order and the growth part, that's the worst part of it, honestly. And the morale. Yeah, because now it looks like you guys got a little bit. I am almost fully recovered here. My army is still making their way down here. Two turns until you get to us. Um... Fail. Let us change. That's good for us. And then we're just raiding our own territory right now. At least now. Yeah, let's see. So one more turn, you'll finish this up. We'll start making a little bit more money from that, which would be great. And essentially, by the time that you get here, I will start being able to push on into Kaffa. I'm going to start just basically saving up the money I have right now because I know we're going to lose money when we stop raiding them, sadly. And then we're going to up another army. 
That's great. Let's see. So you guys are at war there. Finally, we finished that up. So yeah, now we are making a little bit more money. Love to see it. Uh, this area is no longer growing. Awesome. It's part of it's the rating, um, which I can almost put you guys over there. Um, for right now, at least, but yeah, no, you guys have another army coming up from here. I'm gonna have to deal with you guys. I might have to have you like go closer down this way to help with them. I do wonder. Could I convince you guys to give me a piece? Speak if you must. Moderate. But no. I don't want to pay you at all for this. I think I'm going to try just a little bit. Because what I do... Let's, yeah, let's just try 300 initially. Because what I can do... is I'm just going to keep raiding them, but... I want to get my war weariness down. Because I want to have it so I'm not raiding my own territory. I want to raid other people's territory. So, like, if I can get you to give me a peace treaty because it's moderate... Then I can have it so that I can try and keep raiding you guys, get my war weariness down. God, how much do I have to give you? Because otherwise we just go on the offensive. It's just I know, like, right now my stuff is not... Like, okay, if I even gave all of my money that I have right now, it would even go to high. No, it's still moderate. It's probably not going to accept it then. Okay, then we'll just keep fighting them. Because I know for right now here, yeah, no growth here because I'm raiding my own territory. Which is, uh, you guys are almost fully recovered. I'll probably have it so I'd have you go this way. You kind of defend against these guys. It's probably how we're going to have to go about it, essentially. I'd love to go down to hit Constant. Do they control Constant no more right now? I can't actually tell what they control down here. I'd have to send somebody down to scout. There we go. They actually are pulling back. Um, let's see. So for right now, I'm going to just barely go in here. So I'm raiding somebody else and not my own territory. Uh, you are practically fully recovered. I kind of want to have it so you switch out of... I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, you guys also start to take criticism. That's perfect for me. Um, especially because I know you guys... Yeah, you just put took this too. So you're pushing these guys back. Come on, give me a peace treaty, you fuckers. It's still low. You're starting to weaken, though. Because my war weariness is <laughs> still 56 fucking percent. I need to lower it. I know essentially what I'm going to have happen is like once you're fully recovered, which is about two turns, um, I'll have you be the one that pushes forward towards Kaffa. I'll help, but this army is going to stay raiding, so we always are making a bit more money from that. And then besides that right now, I do kind of want to, like, this will at least give me more growth and more book order. I want to get those. Because the more I can grow these areas, the more I can properly get some actual better unit buildings. I don't know if I save up, I do have uh, enough food to get this. Because me, it would give me another 100 gold per turn. It, it'd be something. I'm also surprised that you guys are... That's, it's getting better now, but you know, that orthodoxy... Local, oh, local traditions is a huge thing there. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you guys, I think... Oh no, they're, they're basically full health now. So let's I'll start moving you guys forward. Technically, I make less money now when I'm not raiding my own territory. But essentially, we can now try and have it so that we're going to be doing is... They do have a couple guys over here. I do see this army here. Hmm. Because I probably want to have it so like you stay around uh, Bilgrod in case they just try and go for it. But I think I would have basically you start trying to push forward. And I can try and have it so that you will start trying to yeah, like raid these areas... I'm probably going to start losing money if I have you stop raiding. So I think I'll have you move forward. Oh, fuck, your integrity is shit. <laughs> um, God damn it. God, this, I hate this. The fact that this is so fucking bad. Integrity, minus two, all forces. If that wasn't the case, I would be doing so much better. Um... I wonder if they will accept a ceasefire. Speak quickly. It's still moderate. Like, come on. Give me a fucking ceasefire. I'll try offering more. Let's try offering 2,000. It's high. Okay, I don't have to offer that much. 1,300? There we go. Fuck off. I need this to go down. Now, honestly, I'm going to keep raiding their shit. Um, I'm only at war with uh, you guys now. Still low. God damn it. 
But I'm only at war with one person, so hopefully that'll be enough to get my integrity down. Because I'm gonna keep raiding stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with us fighting these guys. It's just I need my war weariness to go down because my integrity is so ass. So like for right now, we'll keep recovering a little bit, uh, and then eventually I'll probably try and grab this. Yeah, I just need to buy some more time. And this has to. If this wasn't fucking at uh, fifty-eight percent, I could keep fighting things. But it's so high. That integrity is ass. The morale, public order, replenishment. I, I need that to go away. So, let's do, like, one more end turn, I think, though. And I think then we'll be done for today. Because we have at least now had it. So, like, I wish I would have been able to subjugate you guys up here. It's fine. Um, we weren't able to subjugate you guys. But I am still making a decent amount of money from my allies. From my vassals. I make about 800 from them. Which is good. That, that helps us stay afloat. Uh, we've got at least these guys up here. And I want to start coming back down around this way. I don't mind the idea of me taking Kaffa, but it's like I barely make money as is, and that's because of me raiding. We're getting there. Slowly but surely getting there. Damn it, Poland. Ah, okay. You guys are declaring war on my eyes. I am going to have to enter in on this. Um, I'll probably have it, so hopefully... <laughs> nice to see you. Leave me the fuck alone. Um... I will probably take my king and send him back that way to go try and deal with him for right now. Um, I'll have it so. Let's start moving forward over here. Oh, we got something going on. Defamation. I'll try and pay him off. Yeah, let's try and make my way over here. I'll pull back for right now since I did get rid of deserters. So we'll pull back around over here. Make a little bit more money doing that too. But basically, let's now go try and help out against Greater Poland quickly. So I'll send my army over to go deal with them. And then essentially, once they are dead, then, oh, honestly, I'm going to be probably trying to uh, vassalize them too. So they are one territory, we'll make my way over here, hit pause, Dan, and then I can leave this army over down around here, essentially. And if you guys get uppity again, I'm probably going to just turn around and start fighting you. I hate how I'm barely holding on. Like, I'm making money, <laughs> barely, um, if I'm raiding. But my war readiness needs to go down. That's why I don't... Actually, can I just... Uh, Welcome, I suppose. Damn it! I was going to say, can I can just convince them to give me a, a piece immediately? Because I need my war readiness to go down. I'm not going to be able to effectively expand until it goes away. And it won't go... I know it will start going down when I'm at war with only one person. Um, a little bit. But as long as I'm war with like at least two people, it continues to go up. But I do think we'll be done for today right now. We'll kind of see how things are going to play out um, with uh, the forces of Nicaea. For right now, at least, like, hey, I'm happy kind of how things are going over here. I could try and just ignore you. Maybe if I wait until next turn, maybe they'll just give me a ceasefire. ceasefire. Otherwise, I could try and go over here. Uh, you have just one territory, right? Yeah, I actually could go over to Bulgaria quickly, conquer you guys, and turn you into another vassal. Because it's just so far to get back over here again. That's the issue. I know I need to keep something around over here in case they attack Belgorod, but I know for right now at least, I'm not opposed to the idea of like, yeah, save up my money a little bit, maybe just go over here, conquer you guys quickly, and then I really need artillery pieces. Like, if I had artillery pieces in this army, it'd be so easier, so much easier to just like conquer cities and just keep taking them and making more and more vassals. But. I'll be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love and news to say about this campaign. If that's what I'm Joe, this is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.